I'm one of the few people who's been willing to say this, but I'll say it again for clarity. Democrats are domestic enemies of America. I'm not talking about Democrats, uh, Democrat voters as much. I'm talking about the Democrat lawmakers. They don't represent even Democrat voters. They don't represent American citizens. So if you're a Democrat voter, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the Democrat lawmakers and the political leaders. They are enemies of America. They are domestic enemies, and we are in a war. America is in a war. America is being invaded. And everything that these Democrat lawmakers are pushing is designed to destroy America from within. Think about it. Everything that America stands for, they hate. They hate national sovereignty. They hate border security. They hate the Electoral College. They hate the Constitution. They really hate the Second Amendment. They hate the Founding Fathers. They hate American history. They hate law and order. They hate the president, of course. They hate the voters who are Americans. In every case, these Democrat lawmakers and governors and mayors, they give preference to illegals. That's right. In California, under new governor Newsom, and in New York, under New York City Mayor de Blasio, they are now offering free health care for illegals funded by American taxpayers. And when illegal aliens murder Americans in places like San Francisco, guess what? They're granted sanctuary status because you have a sanctuary city and a sanctuary state, which means that only Americans can be found guilty of violent crimes, but illegals get away scot-free. They are pardoned. Former Governor Jerry Brown pardoned illegals who were violent criminals in order to prevent them from being deported. And so did Cuomo in New York, pardoning illegal aliens. Because these Democrats, they are enemies of America. They are domestic enemies. We are under siege. We are being attacked from within. The deep state, which is run by Democrat operatives, still beholden to Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, two of the most corrupt, treasonous, anti-America criminals to have ever taken the political stage. These deep state operatives are every day working to destroy and decimate America from within. So what should we do about this? Well, I've said before that I think that President Trump must invoke a national emergency and he must unleash the military police to seek out, arrest, indict, and prosecute the deep state traitors who are operating within the U.S. government who are operating as professors in universities where they just recruit terrorists. There are domestic terrorism recruitment hubs operating in America's universities in California and other places, by the way. We need to identify and root out the so-called journalists who are actually operatives, CIA-run operatives working for globalists to try to sow dissent, to try to foment race wars, hatred against our president, hatred for democracy, they're not the media. They are propagandists who are serving a globalist agenda. They are anti-American propagandists. And they work for CNN and MSNBC and, and other, you know, New York Times, Washington Post is one of the worst. Criminals there pretending to be journalists. These Democrats are domestic enemies. They, they, they openly despise America. It's not even a secret anymore. They talk about how they want to overthrow the country. They want to eliminate the president. They want to get rid of the Electoral College. They want to stack the Supreme Court with extra liberals so that conservative judges don't have the, the power to make decisions anymore. They're trying to outlaw all voter ID laws nationwide. Did you know that? So that illegals can outvote American citizens everywhere across the country. This is the only way the Democrats can win in the future, by the way, is cheating by dishonestly changing the rules to favor their illegal voters because the American people increasingly are walking away from Democrats. The American people are waking up. They don't support the Democrats. They realize Democrats are domestic enemies. Democrats have to appeal to the illegal aliens, which is why they want open borders. It's a, it's a voter recruitment strategy. That's how they can win elections, is just have massive swarms and hordes of disease-infested, violent criminal migrants stomping across the border to be given voting rights in California and other states. 
Oh, yeah, and free health care and entitlements all on your dime. Charged to you, the taxpayer. This is what Democrats are pushing for out in the open. If you ever vote for a Democrat, you are betraying your country. Democrats are the enemies of America. And I say it's time for the president to declare that. The president, I believe, needs to take to the airwaves and just say, look, we're in a state of war. We're under attack. they are enemies of America operating within. And it is the sworn oath and duty of every president, every military member, every member of law enforcement to protect and defend the United States Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And it's time to identify and arrest those domestic enemies that were mentioned in the Constitution because the founding fathers knew that this would happen. They knew that the greatest threat to America would be the threat from within. That is exactly what has happened. The election of Barack Obama, who is a, an anti-American traitor with a fake birth certificate, by the way, that was such a pathetic joke. They released a Photoshop document with like 17 layers. The point in all of this, by the way, is just that the greatest enemies of America are the enemies within right now. There, there are significant enemies outside America. You know, China, communist China is an enemy of humanity. They're an enemy of human freedom. They're an enemy of Christianity. They're an enemy of the sustainability of the human race. You know, China is a destructive, radical, left-wing communist regime that destroys everything. The European Union is the enemy of humanity. They want to enslave and control everybody. You know, there, there are tyrants all over the world, like in North Korea or in Venezuela or in Cuba, other places as well. All those people are enemies of humanity, but they're not necessarily urgent tactical enemies of the United States. I mean, some, some people might say, well, Russia is an enemy of the United States. That, that's, that's potentially true, but the greatest enemy is the enemy within right now, and that, that's Democrats. They are the true enemies of America, and they are being very effective because they have infiltrated and sabotaged America from within. And they call themselves Democrats. And they, importantly, they, they disguise themselves as people who are compassionate and tolerant while they're censoring you and bullying you and weaponizing the government to destroy your country. But they claim to be good people even as they're the most evil people on the planet. Nancy Pelosi, she's evil beyond imagining. Uh, Gavin Newsom, California, pure evil. Ocasio-Cortez, evil to the core, but makes herself look like she's just a happy-go-lucky Bronx girl. It's all theater. It's all an act. Inside, she's pure evil. And these, that, that's why she looks totally crazy. If you look at her eyes, she's like this wild-eyed cult look about her. Like she can't wait to just grab a steak knife and just stab you in the heart multiple times. I mean, that's the way she thinks about America. Just can't wait to murder America. And it's people like her that want America to fall so it can be flooded and invaded by, you know, Central and South Americans. That's what they want. They hate America. They don't even think America has a right to exist. They don't think it's a legitimate country. They think it should be overrun, overthrown, decimated from within. And that's why they're working to do that. That is their goal. And then there's sellouts in the Democrat Party like Hillary Clinton, who just, she takes money to betray America. She will just, her life dream has just been to get really rich. And she found that political power was the way to do that. Did you know that her Clinton Foundation made millions of dollars running guns for Obama? <laughs> the, the whole Benghazi situation it was a gun running operation that was making money for the Clinton Foundation. It's incredible. And these people are pure evil, though. They are enemies of America. And it's, it's time to simply call them out for what they are. You know, if you're going to defeat evil, if you're going to defeat enemy combatants who are, who are trying to destroy your country, you, you first have to just freaking acknowledge it. You have to just say it. Look, these are the enemies. Point to them. Name them. Call them out. These are the enemies. These are the people who have to be removed from power, indicted, prosecuted, imprisoned, you know, whatever the law may allow. These are the people who have to be stopped. Here are their names. And I've given you some of their names. You, you know who they are. Democrats and deep state operatives. 
They are a danger to the continued existence of this country. They are a danger to your future, to your liberty, to your pocketbook. They will destroy everything in their path if you give them half a chance. And if you oppose them, they will weaponize government to destroy you. They will censor you. This is why the left is all pro-censorship. And they, they do this even as they say it's tolerant. It's, it's, you got to understand, this, the, the left believes that censorship is justified against its political enemies because they don't believe in the right to speak unless you agree with them, in which case, oh, yeah, you have the right to speak. You have a First Amendment right as long as you agree with them. But they don't believe in true First Amendment rights or true free speech because free speech means respecting speech with which you disagree. And, and Democrats can't tolerate that at all, meaning they're the most intolerant group in, in the world. They are intolerant. They have, they have no patience for people who disagree with them. They have no diversity in viewpoints. They demand that you conform with their views. They are obedient authoritarians. They don't believe in diversity. They don't believe in tolerance. They don't believe in freedom. No, they believe in conformity. And they demand your compliance. That's why they are so dangerous. Democrats, that's who they are. And it's, it's Democrats that run the tech companies. They're also dangerous. It's, it's Democrats that run the local city council. They're dangerous. Almost all city councils in these large cities, they're all corrupt. Corrupt criminal Democrats. That's all they are. It's the Democrat police chiefs in many of these liberal cities. They're also totally corrupt. I mean, I... Police chiefs, give me a break. Most of them should be locked up. And they should be arrested by the local sheriff, by the way. It's the sheriffs that actually are more honest than the police in, in these big cities anyway. Not talking about rural cities or small towns, but these big liberal cities, the, the police departments and the police chief, totally corrupt. You know, criminal operations all the way around. That's who they are. So anyway, keep all this in mind when you, when you really wonder who is, who's destroying America right now. It's not, it's not outside enemies as much as it is, you know, the enemies within, the internal threats to America. Those are very serious internal threats, and they have to be stopped if we're going to save this country. We have to just stand. This is, this is why I'm not, I'm not holding back on this anymore. I'm not. I'm not going to remain, remain silent. I'm, I'm just going to say it like it is. These people are dangerous enemies of America. They need to be stopped. They need to be identified, called out. They're dangerous. They are enemies. Trump should declare a war against them. Trump, I think Trump should deputize the American people. He should reactivate all military veterans. He should release a list of all the enemies of America and offer bounty awards for the arrests of those people on that list as they are turned over to federal authorities for prosecution. That's what we should have. Just run a bounty program. I mean, you, you've got enemies of, of the state, enemies of America. I mean, just these deep state enemies who, who they want open borders. They hate the Constitution. They are lawless. They commit election fraud. They lie constantly about Trump and, and Trump supporters. They are true enemies of America. It's time to call them out. Just offer, you know, $100,000 bounty for the arrest of these people. Bring them in. You know, problem solved. It's called crowdsourcing, you know, law and order. But it won't happen unless Trump were to invoke uh, such an order. And I don't know, we're not there yet. It may escalate to that point, but we're not there yet. But don't be surprised if down the road that's something that you see. Because Trump is not going to back down. And we, the people, are not going to surrender our country to a bunch of delusional, deranged, left-wing tyrants and morons. I mean, it's this weird tapestry of, of uh, evil genius authoritarians and utterly incompetent moron fools that is the left. I mean, they're... Some of them are incredibly stupid. Others are smart but evil. You know, they're, they're all power-hungry tyrants. They're all, one way or another, you know, despicable, immoral, unethical individuals. They have 
They have no moral compass. They don't believe in honesty or ethics at all. They will do anything to gain power and destroy this country. Not realizing, of course, they are creating a Venezuela type of scenario for themselves. They voted the people into power that enslaved them and disarmed them and now rule over them as an authoritarian tyranny. We, the American people, have to make sure that that doesn't happen in America, because if you let these leftists and these Democrats have control, they will turn America into Venezuela, and you will be eating out of dumpsters and selling your body for sex to, to have a meal. You will be homeless. You will be enslaved. You have to flee. You, I mean, the things that are happening in Venezuela right now are, are mind-blowing. They don't even... You don't even know the half of it because the government has a total control over the, the media there and throws people in prison if they dare film a video of anything bad happening in Venezuela. You talk about absolute tyranny. And that's what's coming for America if the Democrats are allowed to have any power. Remove them from power, arrest them, indict them, throw them in prison after a court trial, you know, if they're found guilty. And this is the only way that we can really save America. This, this is it. This is how we do it. We either do that or we die as a nation. Read my website, Trump.news, Trump.news, for more details, or Newstarget.com. This is Mike Adams. Thank you for listening. Learn more at HealthRangerReport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.